It's no secret that Cardano ADA has been experiencing a bearish price action for the past few weeks. In this regard, do you still hold your Cardano or are you already thinking of selling your ADA tokens? Nonetheless, please watch the video until the end so that you can be guided on what to do as I will be sharing some good information on why Cardano has a very bright future. So far, it appears that Cardano is the only crypto that is making plans for the future. During this time, most of its competitors have been unable to defend their networks against multiple cyber attacks. And I know that the situation may be all gloom and doom when we're going to take a look at the charts, for example in CoinGecko.com. Considering Cardano is currently experiencing a bearish market, should we proceed with a wait-and-see approach or just hold on to our bags for the remainder of 2021? So let's get to the big news, and the first should come as no surprise that Input Output Global is also known as IOHK. And this has already been accomplished by ensuring Cardano will be resistant to quantum attacks. In the next few years, we will be seeing quantum computing and it'll be as powerful as computers on steroids. Now, I won't get too into this too much, but we know quantum computing is here and is going to take over. Additionally, as far as technology is concerned, quantum computing looks to be much faster, much smarter, and much more capable of solving a lot of these problems easier and faster. Also, some cryptocurrency projects have not considered these issues, which means they do not have any security measures in place. As we'll see here in this video, a lot of the projects right now are struggling with security issues. And if quantum computing is developed, they'll have an even greater struggle, and we're going to see many more cryptocurrency projects fall by the wayside side because they won't be able to secure their networks. But the good thing is Cardano is different since they have already begun preparing for this. Meanwhile, Charles Hoskinson has now confirmed that they are planning to go after these attacks and stabilize the network. According to him, the first thing that needs to be done would be to model algorithms against quantum adversaries. Moreover, he pointed out that they have started this process, but that's not within the scope of the 2022 deliverables. However, if Cardano's next five years are focused on that, then it's something that can be done if the knowledge and people are there. So these guys are already thinking that far in advance, right? Furthermore, Cardano will be one of the most successful projects over the long term because when we are talking long term, it is about 3 to 10 years. So as they plan for these types of events in advance, they are forward looking and that is how Cardano was designed from the beginning. Also, I believe that this is a very important issue, especially for the long term stability of Cardano because when we look at the competitors, obviously Ethereum 2.0 has been somewhat of a disappointment already. Meanwhile, with Cardano, Ethereum 2.0 is already what it is trying to become. Further, the implementation of all of this is still running into many issues despite the fact they are already rolling it out. In other words, they're backtracking a lot on their promises as they continue along. By the time Ethereum 2.0 is fully implemented, Ethereum will experience new attacks and new security problems and the blockchain will begin to fall behind. Additionally, Ethereum is not the only network experiencing problems, as we have a lot of other cryptocurrency projects such as Solana that are experiencing problems as well. You likely recall that a few months ago, the founder or CEO of Solana stated that network outages are not an issue. Then in retrospect, it happened again and the blockchain of Solana was subjected to a DDoS attack, a distributed denial of service attack. Then according to cybersecurity experts, this attack illustrates the weaknesses of Solana's proof of history consensus strategy. Meanwhile, the main issue is that this trade-off ignores the ramifications of the feature that makes the network perform at high speeds by sacrificing security for speed. On the on the other hand, there is no point in having the fastest network in the world if your network isn't secure. And this is because my analogy is having the fastest car in the world, yet the tires continue to come off once it crosses the 100 miles per hour mark. Therefore, this is why Cardano is different from a lot of these crypto projects in terms of importance and significance. Also, this is the reason why many of these investors have a short-term perspective that contributes to their short-term ignorance. We often hear people talk about Cardano's performance, the last three months or what kind of gains has it made. But others would notice that Solana's performance is stunning this year with over 11,000% ROI. Yet again, will it still exist in three years? No, because if it cannot have scalable security and become more secure, it doesn't matter how fast it goes if no one uses it. So getting off my behind and getting back to the technical side of this, I think the importance of the video and the news aspect I want to cover is that we're thinking long term for Cardano. Further, this 
this is the reason why it is so important and the reason for Cardano's innovative approach. Further, they think about the future aspect of everything they do before they do anything. They test it first, then they do it. As opposed to the other crypto projects, or more typically, the majority of them will sort of dive in and then learn as they go, which will be advantageous for fast growth, but not for longevity. Taking a look at Cardano's price over the past few years is a good indication of how fast it has grown, considering it has increased by 750% in one year. Moreover, the market cycle we are currently going through is something I want you to understand. The idea of market cycles refers to patterns that proponents say occur in the crypto markets. Further, this December, many people thought we would reach our peak, and now we're dipping. So it seems like a lot of people are giving up on crypto and saying that the market is in a bear market. Further, cryptocurrencies, and mainly Bitcoin in particular, have gone through cycles that have been extended from their inception. Therefore, wouldn't it make sense to extend cryptocurrency's cycle for another two to 500 days or at least prolong the bottom? Moreover, because there are more participants in the cryptocurrency market, we're getting more liquidity. We have institutions, hedge funds, and whales. So why would this market do worse than the others, despite having more participants and spending more money? Therefore, for me, extending the cycle long term would make sense for the entire cryptocurrency market. That would probably extend past 2022 and into the first few months of 2022, which is what I am considering. And according to some analysts, December will be a neutral month, a bearish month, but we'll start to see what happens once we start to transition. Additionally, some believe that the markets are driven primarily by human emotions and that money is the tool that drives these markets. Furthermore, Cardano continues to trade above support amid positive developments in crypto markets. Then as market sentiment turns positive for cryptocurrencies, the price of the ADA token is seeing bullish signs, and a near-term target of $1.40 is likely to keep buying activity going through the third week of December. After the black trend line breaks above the $1.67 historical level, and the black descending trend line is broken, we can expect $1.70 to be in sight by Christmas. As this rally continues, its chances of extending into the new year are good. Additionally, investors are set to start piling in and purchasing en masse as the end of the year approaches, which will cause the Cardano price to rise. And there is a possibility that this could mark the beginning of a new trend to all-time highs in 2022. Initially, bulls will face a few hurdles, with green trend lines increasing at around $1.47 and black trend lines descending since November. Then, as traders are emboldened by the break above the black trend line, the breakthrough will spur accelerated gains for ADA tokens. Additionally, as the price of ADA attempts to reclaim $1.30, more inflow is expected, doing away with bears who are still holding short positions below $1.40. Once through that point, the black descending trend line will be viewed. Furthermore, the breaking above this level has been rebuffed five times by bulls since mid-November, with bulls constantly trying to break over it. So once it has cleared $1.68, the road for further upside is open with the 55-day simple moving average just above capping further gains. Keeping in mind the very bright future for Cardano, what will the future price of ADA be? Don't forget to enter the giveaway. Look in the comment section for what to do. Make sure you click the subscribe and bell buttons. Merry Christmas, Cardano news enthusiasts.